Hi everyone, welcome to my cheesy kitchen. Today I'm going to show you one of my favorite dishes from the Italian cuisine. It's going to be a spaghetti which is going to be tossed in olive oil and herbs and served along with a tomato basil sauce and some cheese balls which is going to be dunked into it. These cheese balls are going to be made from one of my favorite cheeses which is the Britannia cheese cubes which I'm going to chop finely and then stuff it into them and it's going to taste really delicious. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make it. So the first step is to make the cheese balls and for that I'm going to cut the Britannia cheese cubes into really fine pieces. So let me get started. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open the Britannia cheese cube pack. Britannia cheese cubes come very handy because uh, you have to use only small portions of them and then you can use as many as you want and then you want to make small quantities of um, cheese toast or if you want to just eat them just like that as a snack and when you want to stuff it into cheese balls like this it becomes very convenient. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and chop it small and notice how beautifully it just opens up the ease of opening it and the packaging is simply wonderful it just opens up very neatly so i'm just going to cut a few more cheese cubes and then i'll show you how to put together the cheese balls so to begin making the wedge cheese balls into my mixing bowl i'm going to add in the boiled and mashed potatoes and i have some chopped capsicum some carrots grated and some finely chopped onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the mixed herbs, salt to taste, and some corn flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix and combine all the ingredients well until it's all come together well. And after that, I'm gonna flatten it and place the uh, chopped cheese cubes into that. So now that this is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and grease my palms with a little bit of oil and then take a small portion of the vegetable filling and flatten it on my palms. Add in a few chopped Britannia cheese cubes in the center. And cover it. That's it. So and then these, I'm going to be pan frying them. I'm going to do the same with the remaining portions of the wedge filling and then I'll show you how to pan fry it using a paniara pan. So one last step is I'm going to go ahead and toss these cheese balls in breadcrumbs so it becomes nice and crusty when we pan fry them. So I'm ready to pan fry them in my paniara pan. I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle a little bit of oil into each one of those cavities. And I'll place these cheese balls inside and we'll pan fry them until it becomes golden brown and crisp on all sides. That's it. These cheese balls look perfectly brown and golden on all the sides and I'm ready to now show you how to make the quick and easy tomato basil sauce and then uh, the aglio olio spaghetti which is the herb spaghetti. So to begin making the tomato basil sauce, drizzle some olive oil into the pan, add in some chopped garlic, And some chopped onions. I'm going to saute the onions until they become soft and then lightly golden in color and after that we'll add in the tomato puree and the remaining ingredients. Notice the onions have browned. This stage I'm just going to go ahead and add in the tomato puree, salt, sugar to cut the sourness of the tomatoes, some red chili powder for the spice, and cumin powder and finally the cream so we'll allow the mixture to come to a brisk boil for about three to four minutes and uh, after that our tomato sauce will be ready and just one more ingredient that I'm going to add right now is the toned basil leaves and that's it so we'll just give it a boil for about three to four minutes and then our tomato basil sauce would be ready so that's it, the creamy tomato basil sauce is ready. It's was simmering for about a couple of minutes and we are done. My next step is to show you how to make the herb spaghetti with olive oil. So to make the herb spaghetti, one of the most important ingredients is the extra virgin olive oil. That's gonna be adding a lot of taste and flavor to the dish. 
so I'm just going to go ahead and add in the first round of the olive oil and to this the chopped, finely chopped garlic. So I'm going to saute the garlic for a few seconds until you can smell the aromas coming through and once um, about less than 30 seconds I would say. Don't allow the garlic to get brown because you want uh, it to be nice, soft and tender uh, when it's tossed along with the spaghetti. Great. I'm going to go ahead and add in the mixed herbs and some chili flakes. I'm going to toss in the cooked spaghetti into this. Add some salt. And finally, some more olive oil on the top. We'll just toss all of this together until the spaghetti gets combined with the olive oil really well and along with the garlic and the mixed herbs too. Great, so now the spaghetti is done. Now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So the first thing that I'm going to do to serve is to place my spaghetti on my serving bowl. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my sauce. And finally, place a few cheese balls for serving. Just a couple will do. And garnish it with some herbs. And that's it. So it makes a great one dish dinner when you want to have a special dinner with your family or when you're having some friends over. All you have to do is keep the herb spaghetti ready and the creamy tomato basil sauce ready as well and the wet cheese balls. And when guests come over, just put it all together and then serve it on a plate and they will absolutely love it. You have to give this recipe a try and when you do, don't forget to share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. We'll always look forward to hearing back from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.